This is question number 46 of the 2013 KCPE math paper. It says, the perimeter of a triangle is 32 centimetres. Two sides of the triangle measure 10 centimetres and 12 centimetres. What is the area of the triangle? So we're told the perimeter, which is the length the whole way round the triangle, which I've highlighted here in purple, is 32 centimetres. So I've represented the perimeter as P, and I said P equals 32. And that P uh, is also equal to 12, which is the length of one of the sides, 10 plus 10, the length of another one of the sides, plus X, this unknown value, which is the third side that we don't know of the triangle. So that's 32 is equal to 12 plus 10 plus x, which is the same as 32 is equal to 22 if we add together the 12 and the 10 plus x. So from here we can solve to find the value of x and we get x is equal to 32 take away 22 which is equal to 10. So this side x is has the value 10. So we can see that this triangle has two sides of equal length and that makes it an isosceles triangle. So this means that we can use Pythagoras um, to work out uh, this length here. So if we drop a perpendicular the whole way down um, between these two sides of equal length. So we can drop a perpendicular like so. And this perpendicular represents the height of the triangle from here to here. This is h, the height of the triangle. And the area of a triangle is equal to a half h, the height, uh, times by b, the base. And the base is 12 centimetres, this length here. So all we need to do is find out h, and we're going to use Pythagoras to do that. So um, let's consider this smaller triangle. Let's consider this smaller triangle here and let's name its side. So it shares a side with a bigger triangle, H. It also shares another side with a bigger triangle, 10. Then it has another side, um, which is the half of 12, 6 here. And we know that this 10 is also the hypotenuse. So we can use Pythagoras' theorem, um, A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared to find out H. So we're just gonna substitute in values. So a, a is the um, length of the hypotenuse, which is 10 in this case. So we get 10 squared, which is 100, is equal to b squared. Let's have um, b b 6. So 6 squared is 36 plus h squared. Um, OK, so if we subtract 36 from 100, we will get 64. So 64 is equal to h squared. So that means that h is equal to 8. As we know that 8 times by 8 is equal to 64. So that means that h is equal to 8. And let's go back to this formula for the area of a, a triangle, a half, a, a half times by h and b. We said before that B, the base of the whole big triangle that we were originally considering is 12. We know now that the height H is 8. 12 times by 8 is equal to 96. It's by a half, that's the same as dividing by 2, is 48. So the area of the triangle is 48. So the answer is C, 48.